Hallelujah to Jesus. I'm so glad to come your way once again this beautiful Wednesday morning. My name is Kayo De Nathaniel Tomomeo, reaching us live on this platform, Daily Impartation. Now hear this. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 6, 1 and 2, Ecclesiastes, chapter 6, 1 and 2, the Bible said there is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is common among men, a man to whom God has given riches, wealth, and honor, so that he wanted nothing for his soul of all that he desired, yet God giveth him not power to eat thereof, but a stranger eat it. This is vanity and it is an evil disease. Now, don't forget that we have been talking about the blessing uh, the, the, the blessing of the seventh month. And we said, number one blessing of the seventh month according to Genesis chapter 2, 1 to 3 is anointing and grace to start and to finish. And we said that under this point we have four categories of people number one are people that have never started anything at all they have never started anything at all we have that category and number two we have category of people that start but they always have problem finishing that is second category they don't have problem starting but they have problem finishing and we have the third one which is starting and finishing now we now said it does not stop there that was what led us to number four that we discussed yesterday that it is not enough to start and to finish number four category that was what led us to number four that says that you must start finish and enjoy the works of your hand that it is not enough to start and finish you must that is four categories people that start and finish and enjoy the works of their hand and if you look at our text this morning ecclesiastes chapter 6 1 and 2 is confirming that point is confirming that point he said there is an evil which i have seen under the sun and is common among men that is you know this book of the preacher ecclesiastes is making us to know that that people starting, finishing, but they don't enjoy the works of their hand is an evil. And it is common. It is common. You see people building houses. They labor. There's a woman I know living in an estate. You know, the husband, you know, very busy man, you know, the husband goes to work, make money, and give money to this woman to supervise their building project. The woman was the one that supervised the building project from the beginning to the end. They started and they finished the house, planning to pack in. The woman died. So, so they, they, they brought a dead body to that house that is a that is a that is that is an example of what we are talking about and this ecclesiastes chapter 6 1 to 2 is confirming it that people will we, we start something they will labor over it they will finish it but some of them does not wait to eat the labor of their hand look at verse 2 he said a man that has riches that has wealth, that has honor but and he is so blessed that he needs nothing everything he has but yet he doesn't have power to eat thereof but a stranger is the one that hated it can you imagine you labor you start something you finish it you didn't eat out of it. It is a stranger that now, that now came to eat it. Ah, it becomes an authority. I pray for you today. By the power in the name of Jesus, you will start. You will finish. And you will enjoy the works of your hand in the name of Jesus. In fact, as a matter of fact, the Bible calls it this uh, Ecclesiastes 6, 1 and 2. It calls it an evil disease. Is an evil disease. I pray for you today. Every evil disease that wants you to start, that wants you to finish, but that does not want you to enjoy the works of your hand, I paralyze it in the name of Jesus. I command that disease to die by fire. This is what we are using to pray today. Use it to pray, and as you are praying, use this Bible verse, Ecclesiastes 6 and 2, as a scripture to pray that prayer. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. If you are not born again, pray this prayer. I say, Lord Jesus, come to my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. With my heart, I believe. With my mouth, I confess. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. Please help us to share this message. Don't forget our Bible reading. And the Lord will bless you. See you tomorrow.